Hello guys, you're welcome yet again to another video and this is probably going to be the last video in this series um, So what I am going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be I'm logging out a user and as well as I'm going to be testing all the functionalities to be sure everything is pretty much nice Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to our text, text editor and um, I'm going to head to sidebar.js and in our sidebar.js it contains um, a couple of things here but well, I'm particularly interested in our app bar I want to add a new um, say a new div here or should I call this no let me copy this instead this is going to be a new typography and um, we're going to call this typography logout and I'm going to save this and I want to see oh this doesn't look pretty nice so what I can do now is is I'm going to give this a class name um, I'm going to give this a class name of say logout content and I'm going to head back to the browser and I'm going to inspect this and I'm going to um, we have h6 here I'm going to try and see how I can restart this from here so I'm going to say float to the right and that does not change anything Okay, let me not waste much time. Let me just go straight to React Material UI. Oh, sorry. My internet connections are off. And now I'm connected to the internet. So I'm going to go to Material UI. And I'm going to go to App Bar. And right App Bar here. Um, I'm going to look at this. So I need something that looks like this. So what I can do now is I'm going to copy this, this is well within the toolbar and I'm going to get rid of this and this comes right after our typography of news uh, let's look at the source code clearly and um, after the typography of news we have this button here that has a color of inherit so I'm going to paste that in here, save that and we have an error saying we have not imported the button so I am going to import that button here and um, I'm going to import that save that and head back to our application and we still have this right at this point and what we can further do is since nothing is changing we can head back in here and we're going to use these two styles here and right in here for this typography I'm going to give it the same class name classes the title um, remember we already imported general JSX styling here general JSX styling where is that uh, I can't find that yep general JSX styling and um, here so I'm going to just paste that in here so if I save that and I come over here and I save this and I get back to our browser you can see tech build is here and we have our login here uh, so what I can do also is I'm going to change the value of that login to log out here and I'm going to get rid of this class name so I'm going to change this to log out and now we have log out here I'm going to attach an on click event here and um, since this is not a class based component but this is rather a, a functional based component what I'm going to do is I'm going to call an event here and I'm going to say log user out or just call this log out log out and um, I know throughout this video we have been using class based components and we've not really used functional based components I intend using functional based components in the next tutorial after this I felt using class based components first before using component before using functional based components could probably maybe you know help you make your choice which of them you do prefer okay so uh, that's by the way I'm gonna copy this here now and since this is not a class based component we don't need this keyword there so I'm gonna call this here and I'm gonna say const logout and we are going to say let token be equal to local storage dot item 
and we are going to pass user and now once we have gotten this we can now say local storage dot remove item and we are going to remove user and honestly we really don't need this right i will just need this to be able to remove this token and now once we have been able to do this i'm going to console.log oh first of all let's comment this out first and let me log to the console the value of props and oh sorry i'm gonna head back to our browser and um, i'm gonna inspect this go to the console if i click on logout it returns props dot with props actually returns the props which returns history okay so now we have exactly what we or what i was looking for so what we basically want to do is we want to um navigate to another route once we have removed the token so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say props dot props dot history dot push and um we are going to push we're going to go back to index or app dot js and we are going to be going back to slash so we're going to be going to the home or to the index component and now if i save that and i head back to our browser here um if i just click on logout you can see it has actually locked us out if i go to slash dashboard slash view contact it's redirecting us here and i can do nothing until i have logged in again so now let's log in and my password is as often password until i've logged in yep and now we are now able to access that so i can log out again we still have redirecting to dashboard here so i am going to quickly fix that now so i'm going to go back to um our reducer our auth reducer here and i am going to create just the same way we did for our contact reducer i'm going to create two um cases here the first is going to restart restart auth response and the next is going to show loading and these both are going to be for auth response right and this is also going to be for auth response so what i'm going to do is every time the login the logout and the dashboard mount we want to first of all clear the value of our auth response and so to be able to do that to able to be able to do that we're going to um start off from let's see let's start off from our dashboard here and what i'm going to do is we are going to import the connect higher order component enable us use redux and um we are also going to say export default we're going to say we're going to call the connect higher order component and we're going to pass null here null to here and the last parameter is going to be the dashboard and um, we are going to say map state to props and for this we are going to pass state here and we are going to return we are going to return nothing initially so I am going to change this here to map state to props so um, now we have successfully set our map state to props and we've wrapped this around the connect higher order component so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dispatch an action in our auth actions and um, that action is going to is going to all right we're going to dispatch an action here so i'm going to say it's going to be responsible for doing that export um const reset response per component and um, to do this we're going to pass dispatch in here and um, what I'm also going to do is we're going to 
return let me just copy this oh we can't really copy this all right let's just return we're going to return dispatch and this is going to take dispatch param uh, sorry not dispatch we're going to return this and we're going to dispatch um, we're going to dispatch restart of response so we're going to call restart of response and basically this is going to take nothing except that we forgot to specify the type here I'm going to specify the type and we're going to return dispatch which is going to have restart of response okay so now we have this here we are going to need to import that in our dashboard here so I'm going to import from this is going to come from this is going to come from our okay sorry it's going to come from our store our actions of actions and now once we have successfully imported this we are now going to add this to our state here by saying uh, actually I'm going to say map dispatch to props and this is going to pass dispatch and um, I'm not sure we're going to need map state props any longer so let's get rid of this and now let's call this map dispatch to props and in here we're going to return um, oh, let me not waste too much time. So now here we are going to return, and I wouldn't want to waste so much time. So yep, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to change this to reset out response. Get rid of this. Get rid of this too, and I'm going to call this reset out response. And now once we have successfully saved that. Um, we are then going to use one of the life cycle sorry not life cycle actually because we're in a functional based component so we're not going to, we're going to be using one of the hooks available to us in react so um, we're going to be using a hook called use effect and so we're going to call use effect here and for use effect we're not going to be returning anything neither are we also going to be passing any value here so the use effect um, replaces component did mount, component will mount, component will receive props, component did update, and um, basically everything just depends on how you are going to use it. And like I said, in the next series, we're going to be going in depth where we build a where we build an application on how use effect works. So um, what I'm going to do here now is to import use effect so that um, we can be able to use it here. So I'm going to import that from here. So I'm going to go use effect, not this, use effect. And now if I save this, all right, so we have no error in our terminal. So I'm um, having saved that, now we are going to go straight into using our use effect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to call reset out response here. Now I'm going to save this. And I'm sure you're going to expect this to work. But the truth is that this is not going to work. This is not how we make use of Redux within um, um, functional based components. So um, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, we could go this way here. Right here, we could pass that as a second parameter. All right. But the problem with this method is that whenever Redux sees this component, it considers everything inside of here to be coming from either the state or the actions. And this is not coming from the state, from the global state or from the global action. This is actually coming from the state of the component. So this is not going to work. This is definitely going to throw an error. If I were to um, say call reset or response components here, and I save this, and I head down to our browser, and let me log in now. Let me log in. And I enter my password. If I log in, it's going to redirect me to dashboard and boom we have an error here saying cannot read property match so you can see it expects that any whenever we pass something like this everything within this is coming from the state what we can do now is we are going to import 
a couple of things here um, we're going to import from redux so once react hooks came out um, a, a certain number of functions were created for react redux to perfectly work with hooks some of which are use dispatch use selector and the rest of them so we're going to be using use dispatch so now we have use dispatch for us to be able to use use dispatch here we would have to instantiate use dispatch first of all so i'm going to say const use dispatch would now be equal to use dispatch and um, what we can further do here is we're going to say use use dispatch like this which is actually referencing this use dispatch or let's not use this let's use dispatch so that we don't get confused so we're going to call this dispatch and we are going to say dispatch and um, for this dispatch we're going to pass reset or response per component and we are also going to pass the dispatch here. And now if i save that um every single thing right now looks pretty cool and guess what the coolest part of it all is that um once we do it this way let's get rid of this here so that we still have our props and once we go about things this way we can um get rid of every single thing down here except for say the components here you can get rid of everything here and everything will still work just perfectly all right as long as we've already wrapped the whole component within the store so now if i save this and now i get back to my browser if i click on logout we get the value hello and that's because in our reducer we were playing around trying to debug and then we set this as let's set this as no and now let's log in again let's log in enter a password And now we have logged in now log out and you can see that again and i'm um, also let's get back into our dashboard um, i want you guys to also take note of something here of course we really don't need this again you can get rid of this too save that okay guys so now let's just do the same for the login component which are class-based components so for the class-based component um the login component or the class-based component we're going to be doing it this way so i'm going to call reset out response per component and we're going to call component did mount and in component did mount we are going to call this dot props dot reset out response and we are also going to pass that here say reset out response this pass is nothing and we are dispatching reset out response and this pass is nothing too sorry and we are also going to do the same too for register which are basically the three components that we are routing to on the global scale i don't mean sub components and here we are also going to call reset out response and we are also going to do component lead mount and for component demand, we are going to call this dot props right dot reset out response, and we are also going to pass that here too. Right here, we're going to say reset out response, and this is going to dispatch reset or respond and that's just about that so we save that and let's just head back to browser and everything pretty seems good now so i can go to register and i can add a new user here this one raviol and his email is going to be this at gmail.com and his password is going to be password register this guy sign up done successful now once I go to login, you can see automatically that that has been cleared from off response. Please do subscribe to my channel, like my videos. Um, I think so far we have just about two series here. These things help me boost my morale to shoot more videos. Thank you.